using Google Docs. As you can see now, I am in my Google Drive. I have a bunch of my folders up, as you saw from the last video. And if I want to open up a Google Doc, I can go, whether you're on Google.com, make sure you're logged into your Google account on the checkerboard here, and then just look for the Docs icon. Or what I prefer, since it automatically saves into your drive once you open up a doc, it's starting from the new icon here on the left, clicking Google Docs, and thus it opens a document for you. So Google Docs, it's a word processor that allows users to create and edit documents from any web-enabled device. And what that means is you can say, for example, start a project in school and then edit that same document on a computer at home. No needing to email, no needing to put, in, put it on a flash drive because as we said with Drive, these Google apps are all cloud-based. Now, as I showed you with Drive, okay, and the same thing you can do with Docs is of course share the document. That's the biggest thing with Google Apps. No other type of word processor or presentation tool has this share feature where you can work on projects or documents simultaneously. Before I do that, okay, I need to create a name for this file to also do this to make it easier. And I'll just X out of this for a second is if I just click where it says untitled document, okay, I can automatically rename it here. So I'll just call this example just for the sake of the video. Hit OK. And once again, at the top right with the blue, the blue share button, just as I showed with Drive and with sharing that document, I'll just type in, say I'm working on a document with Mr. Palatano. Okay. And once again, the person you're sharing with has the three options of edit, comment, or view. And as I go down this list, if I decided that to have this and edit this document, she would be able to edit the document, invite other people, and she can upload and delete different versions. And I'll show you that in a second. If I had her just to comment, she would be able to, just like in Word, put comments on the side of the document, but you cannot physically make a actual change to the document. Okay. And the last one can view is where she can view the document, but can't make any changes. She can make a copy of the document as well, but she's just viewing. So the three access levels are pretty self-explanatory. And if I went into the advanced, okay, settings and if you click on the lower right hand corner with the advanced okay of course it looks like I'm about to add Mr. Palatano and with my who can access here if I select change okay and I showed you this from the last video the first two whether well, I wanted to share with anyone and if we weren't using our school accounts this would just be public or with anyone with the hyperlink you wouldn't need to have a Google account to see the document all right the last one, of course, what I prefer, sharing with only specific people, they, of course, need a Google account. So if I save that and I go ahead and share this with Miss N, and I'll just have her say edit, send it, and she'd go to her shared with me, and she'd be able to see the document in her drive. Okay? But the great thing with Docs, and when we get to Slides and Sheets, Google Slides and Google Sheets, I can then work at the same time with, with Miss N on the same document, okay? Sharing a doc, it allows you to modify the documents together simultaneously. So I can have this document open here, and Miss N can be anywhere else in the world with an internet connection. And if she has this document open, we can edit at the same exact time. And you'll be doing that a lot when we work on our classwork assignments and projects, okay? At one time with Google Docs, you could have up to 200 viewers viewing the document and you could have 50, 50 editors at the same time working on the document. So if you were doing a huge project for a large company, you can have up to 50 people working on the same entire document at the, at the same time, which is really, really neat. And when you see it in action, you'll see the benefits of that tool as well. So. 
just the basics of Google Docs to start. Um, before we go into the, the actual specifics, if I go back to my drive and we said with drive, you can upload tons of different types of documents. But say if I had a Word document, and this was the same one from our last video, if I wanted, and if I open this up, okay, with the extensions, and Chrome has a Microsoft Office extension, I will only be able to physically view the document. Okay, and as you can see, that red mark, edits will not be automatically saved because it's still in a Word file and I don't have the same icons here. Okay, so say if I wanted to change this into a Google Doc so I can make changes and save them, if I just went to this icon at the top right where it says more actions, I showed you that in the last video, and if I went to open with and select Google Docs, Google will then work ahead and create this into a Google Doc. Let me try that one more time. All right, and it's going along now. And if I go ahead and select File and Save as Google Docs, and as you can see, it's saving a new version into Google Docs. And right now, you can see I have all my icons. It's converting it into a Google Doc. The formatting may be a little bit off. All right, as you can see, it's still loading. It does take some time. And this is automatically saved into my Google Drive. Once it fully loads, and you can see at the bottom, it says, hooray. Finally, save as a Google Doc format. I got that. And if I go back to my drive, you can see now that the icon has changed. I still have my Word document, but into the doc icon, all right? And so it automatically saves it into a Google Doc icon right in my drive. Most of the times it does, when you hit the more icons and it, you select open with in Google Docs, it should open it into a Google Doc. Um, looks like we had to take one more step but a way to change from Word to a doc so you can use Google Docs full list of features. So, to go right into Google Docs. What we have right here, starting from our print icon, if you hover over with the cursor, all right, this entire row is called our formatting toolbar. All right, to quickly go through, of course, we have print, undo, redo, paint format. And what a, many students may not know, if I go to this is an example document of an assignment you may do. What Paint Format does is if I highlight and copy, and I select the Paint Format button, it copies all the formatting from what I highlighted. So what I can do is just click on any text that I want to have this same bolded, the same text font, the same text size, and if I just click, okay, it changes the new text into the same exact text that I use the paint format icon for. Okay, let me undo. We have our zoom, we have our paragraph styles, our font, font size, bold, italicized, size, underline, text color. We have our insert link, and that's where if I highlight a word and I select insert link, this is the inserting a hyperlink portion, just like you know in Word. And I would just paste my link here, and of course it would show up as a hyperlink. What we have here, this is to insert a comment. So say if I'm working on a project or an assignment with someone, and I don't want to make definite changes, I can insert a comment. Okay? And then insert a comment near whatever you last are clicked on. Alright? So I can insert a comment here say I wanted to insert a comment where it says in your September classwork folder right I can insert a comment and it will show right at that point in time so if you were to go and click on that location you would see the comment that I post 